when people saw it, they just kind of went, wow, that's cool. I wouldn't mind having one of those. And I went out in the alley and found some nails and straightened them out with the hammer that I had. And I used to cut, I cut the wood actually with a, a, an old buck knife. I would lay it there and just bang on it. Then I kind of saw that people liked them and, you know, it just went from there. Here, Michael. This is a business of the heart. This is something you do with your two hands. This is like owning a farm. You get up in the morning and you, you have something to do that's yours. It's just all old junk that people have thrown out. It's, it's, it's old fence wood. It's old siding off of houses. You just take it all in and you leave it there until it speaks to you and says, this, is, this will work with this. You just get all the metal, you get all the doorknobs, you get all the faucets, you get all the wood in place, and then you just start creating. Goes together just like a little puzzle, huh? Birdhouses just kind of have this universal appeal that I think they give us a, a vanilla feeling. You know, like vanilla ice cream. Everybody loves vanilla ice cream because it's got that taste. Everybody likes chocolate ice cream. I think birdhouses are kind of like that. They just kind of give you that, that smile, that, that warm, fuzzy feeling because, you know, in some ways it is something that your grandfather would have done out in the shed or his grandfather would have, you know, they built them for a reason, not just for looks, but it is an old lost art that somebody would have done by hand. Cut this one uh, four and a quarter. And each person that comes in the door to look at my birdhouse is, is different and has a different thought. That's why I have so many different shapes and styles is because everybody likes something different. They were just stunning and whimsical. It reminds me of Dr. Seuss. I see doorknobs. I was looking for something that might make a nice bird perch. And over there, they've got a kazoo sticking out. Um, they've got some paint brushes sticking out where they've painted the bristles and they're kind of stiff. And I thought a bird could perch on that. But I really like the idea of recycling old objects and creating something new. There we go. People say, Dave, you're an artist. I mean, they're fabulous. But I guess because I, become, I come from a traditional place, I think of an artist as a oil painter or a sculptor or something like that. And when they say artist to me, it's just it's real hard for me to take. It's either that I'm an artist and my medium is wood, or I'm a birdhouse builder. I have successful stores up and down the California coast. I have successful stores in Denver. The byproduct of me being willing to go to any lengths to keep my business alive is that I've created a, a pretty cool business. I mean, I get to travel and do all these fun things just based on the fact that I just wanted my business to succeed because I liked coming here every morning and doing this. Anything that I want to do beyond this, it just gets bigger and bigger. I want everything to suggest something to you, but not draw a conclusion for you. Just see it and take, take it as what it is. It's just fun. It's just meant to make you smile. When you can get up in the morning and look in the mirror and go, I'm glad to be alive, I'm glad to be awake, and I'm glad I'm going to work, that's a pretty important, that makes life pretty important.